Hey guys, what is up? This is Sophia, and today I have a rather interesting uh, unboxing. And 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 you might wonder why exactly this is interesting. Well, at least it's interesting for me, and let me explain why. Uh, here in Singapore, uh, when you build your own PC and whatever, uh, when you buy internal hard drives, uh, they don't usually come in this kind of packaging. Uh, what we usually have is like the um, OEM packaging style kind of thing. Uh, you simply get either a, a box, like a carton box, and with the hard drive inside, or you actually get the anti-static bag and then the hard drive itself. Now, <laughs> I ordered this from Amazon, and yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, call me a frog in the well or, or a mountain tortoise or whatever, but I've never actually seen a retail packaging of an internal hard drive before. So yeah, so I thought, why not? Uh, share with you guys uh, this unboxing. I'm very, very interested to know exactly what's the difference. Perhaps it's just box and inside is the same thing, the wrapping. I'm not sure. I have never ever seen this uh, being sold like that in Singapore before, right? There, there should be uh, probably in those uh, uh, retail stores and whatever, but from the places I go to, all the hardware stores, uh, yeah, they don't have such packaging. So anyways, Let's begin. I really like the packaging. Uh, it looks really cool, you know. It's like just a hard drive, and they sell it like it's it's gonna make your system be so fast and so powerful, and, and whatever. Uh, yeah. So let's just read compatible with whatever internal hard drive, three year standard warranty, and all that good jazz. And uh, it includes, hmm, if you see here, of this. Okay, light. Uh, this thing over here. Not sure exactly what that is. Uh, that is a hard drive. Yeah, it says it includes in a hard drive. It better, it better include that and this. Hmm. Let's see what that is. Really, I have no clue at all. Uh, the reason why I'm actually buying this, uh, is because my current, uh, data drive, a one terabyte drive, is actually dying, and I'm still using it. Uh, even though all the sectors are slowly, slowly failing, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm was I'm actually waiting for this drive to arrive. Then I'm gonna take that out and uh, replace it with this. So Wi-Fi terabyte. I mean, uh, why not? Uh, because the price to uh, storage is pretty much uh, at its peak at the moment at this range, I believe. I'm not too sure as well, but uh, I'm out of uh, SATA slots as well. So yeah, I have no choice, but I would to go for the higher drives anyways. So, wow, look at that. It's packed and okay, I, I just did it the other side. So this should review, all oh, right, all right. So yeah, exactly. So, right, so in Singapore, what we have is basically this. Right, so when you go to the hardware store and you want to buy a a hard drive, an internal hard drive, they give you this. That's it. And uh, yeah, so this is the first time I see it in a box, and in really good packaging. I guess it's for shipping. Uh, and okay, so yeah, the includes the warranty stuff that uh, I should bother. And and yeah, this is the five terabyte drive. Toshiba 5 terabyte and 200 RPM drive. I believe it has um, 128 megabyte cache. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> I'm really interested to find out and I did and I'm glad I found out about it. So yeah, that's it from me. Uh, if you like this video, do you like it? If you want to see more of such videos, uh, do you subscribe. For more of such videos and uh if you have anything to let me know you can just leave it in the comment section as well i'll see you guys again uh very soon hold up before we go i thought uh i would like to show you some uh benchmarks uh, that i've done regarding this uh toshiba five terabyte uh drive as you can see the 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 sequential uh read and writes have uh tremendously improved uh since uh the the smaller capacity drives uh back years back you know now it's already 200 uh, for read and write as well so of course as usual your uh 512k uh, random reads and write uh, are as terrible as compared to um ssds but 
yeah, you can see uh, uh, mechanical drives are, are pretty good for some stuff as well, especially for data storage and whatnot. So yeah, here are just some benchmarks I thought you guys would like to see. Uh, yeah, and this will be the last of me for regarding this topic. So yeah, I'll see you guys again very soon.